In this video, we are going to look at the 2023 Mathematics Paper 2, Question 3 for internal candidates. So, Question 3a, the question reads, Find the equation of the curve for which dy dx is equal to 12x cubed minus 4x plus 5 at the point 0, negative 2. Alright, so we have been given that dy dx is equal to 12x cubed minus 4x plus 5 and then at the point 0, negative 2. Alright, since we have been given dy dx, it means that what we have been given here is the derivative of the original equation that we are told to find. So since we've been given the derivative, it means that for us to find the original equation, which is the equation of the curve, we are supposed to integrate this so that we find what y is. So we're going to say y is equal to the integral of 12x cubed minus 4x plus 5. 5 is a constant, but it can be written as 5 to the power x. Let's have x's in, the whole, in, in all the terms. Okay? 5x to the power 0. Any number to the power 0 is 1. So we have 1 times 5, we still get, the, we still get back the 5. So the x. All right. So we're going to have y is equal to so how do you integrate to integrate a function it means that you're going to add one to a power to the power and then divide by the new power so what we are saying is we're going to have 12 x to the power 3 plus 1 then divide by the new power which is 1 plus i mean 3 plus 1 then minus 4 x to the power we have to the power 1 here, so we add another 1 there, then over 1 plus 1. Then plus 5x to the power 0 plus 1, then over 0 plus 1, then plus the constant c. So what is needed now is just to simplify this. So we're going to have y is equal to uh, 12x to the power 3 plus 1 is 4, then over the new power, which is 4, minus 4x, 1 plus 1 is 2, then over the new power, which is 2, plus 5x, 0 plus 1 is to the power 1, anything raised to the power 1 will just be itself, so we have just x here over the new power, which is 1, then plus c. So we have y is equal to uh, 4 into 4, 1. 4 into 12 is 3. So 3 times x to the power 4 is 3x to the power 4 minus 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 4, 2. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. Then plus 5x divided by 1 is just 5x then plus c. So C is the constant, okay? So this is the equation that we are told to find, but at the moment, we don't know what the value of C is, okay? We don't know what the value of C is, but remember they have said uh, this curve is passing through the point, is passing through the point 0, negative 2. So meaning... Since it's passing at the point 0, comma, negative 2. So this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. So what we're going to do, we're going to replace in this equation, where there's x, we're going to replace the 0 since the x coordinate is 0. Then where, where there's y in this equation, we're going to replace negative 2. So that we find the value of c. Okay, so we're going to have... Uh, y is negative 2, so negative 2 is equal to 3. x is 0, so 0 to the power 4 minus 2. Then 0 squared plus 5 times x, x is 0, then plus c. So we're going to have negative 2 is equal to 
0 to the power 4 is 0, 0 times 3 is 0. Minus this also becomes, it will become a 0, even this one will become a 0. So we we'll have negative 2 is equal to C, which means that C is equal to negative 2. So since C is negative 2, it means that where there is C in this equation here, we're going to replace a negative uh, 2 there, okay? So it means we have found the equation of the curve, okay? So what we are saying is we're going to have y is equal to uh, 3x to the power 4 minus 2x squared plus 5x. Then this is negative 2. So c is negative 2. So we are going to say minus 2. So this is the equation of the curve that they wanted if you are with me up to this point it means you are enjoying what i'm doing please subscribe comment hit the like button and share all right b says the nth term of a geometric progression is given by this find the first three terms all right so what you have been given is the nth term of a geometric progression of a GP. So this is B1. Okay. So what you've been given is the nth term of a GP. So we are looking at the GP, the geometric progression. All right. So which means that we are going to have AN. This is the nth term being given as 180 then 1 over 2 to the power n. So this is the nth term that we've been given. So we're going to use this to find the first three terms. Okay? So when they say first, first means 1. Eh? So meaning first, the first term n is 1. For the second term, second means 2, so meaning n is 2. For the third term, it means n is 3. So what we are going to be doing now is we are going to be replacing where there is n here everywhere, we are going to be putting 1 for the first term. And then the same with the second and, sec and third term. Alright, so what we are going to say for us to find the first term, so we're going to say A, A1, which means the first term, is equal to uh, this, okay? So since the nth term have already been given, so we have 180, then 1 over 2 to the power n is 1 for the first term. The same, the same number that you've written here will, become, will be here, 1 to the power 1. Which means we are going to have 180 times uh, 1 over 2. Any number to the power 1 is just the same. So we are having 180 divided by 2 which gives 90 as the first term. So the first term is 90. Then the second term, A2, will be 180 using the same formula. Then N in this case is a 2. So we have 1 over 2 to the power. Uh, N in this case is a 2. So to the power 2 is equal to 180. Um, 1 squared is 1. Then 2 squared is 4. So we are having 180. Divide by 4. And this gives uh, 45. Then the third term is that we are going, also going to use the same formula. 1 over 2. Where there is n now, we are going to replace uh, a 3 for the third term. Okay, we will replace a 3. So we have a 3 there. So we have 180. 1 cubed is 1, so we have 1 over 2 cubed is 8, which means we are going to have 180 over 8. 
and this gives 22.5 as the third term. So we're going to conclude and say, therefore, the first three terms are, so we are going to start 90, then 45, and 22.5. 22.5. So these are the first three terms of this geometric progression. All right. The second part says the common ratio. So the second part, they want us to find the common ratio. So the common ratio is given by R is equal to. So for you to find the common ratio, you divide the next term by the previous term. In other words, you divide this term that is on the right. So we're going to say 45 over um, the term that is on the left, which is 90. Okay. So we can reduce this. 45 into 45 is 1. 45 into 90 is 2. So meaning the common ratio is half. Then the third question says is the sum to infinite of the progression. The sum to infinite of the progression. So how do you find the sum to infinite? You are going to use the formula S to infinite. So this means that it sum to infinite is equal to a1 which is the first term divided by 1 minus r and this formula is valid when r is less than 1 all right so we're going to have a1 the first term is what we found that the first term is 90 so we're going to put 90 here divide by 1 minus r r we are just from finding that r is half so we're going to say 1 minus half so what is needed now is just for us to simplify this so we're going to have 90 over 1 minus half is half okay so remember these are now fractions you are dividing fractions this is same as it 90 divided by 1 over 2. 90 is a rational number and it can be written as a, a fraction like this over 1. So we are going to use the rules for dividing fractions for us to work out this. So the rules for dividing fractions are keep, change, change, and flip. Keep, change, and flip. So you're going to keep the first fraction. So you have 90 over 1. You are keeping it. Then change the division sign to multiplication. And immediately you change, then you flip the second fraction. Meaning the denominator becomes a numerator. And the numerator becomes a denominator. So 90 times 2 is 108. 1 times 1 is 1. So the sum to infinite is 180. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Once again, if you are new to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, comment, and share. And also, if you have not watched the first, the first and second question of this paper, you can just click on the videos that are showing on the screen right now. See you in the next video where we're going to look at construction.